Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a product review for a heater. I just got the product in yesterday, so I will show you guys what it looks like. I haven't opened it yet or anything, so. So this is the product. It's an electric heater. Um, on the box it says you can use it in a classroom, office, living room, bedroom, hotel, or dorm room. And it says, Easy to go, carrying handle, and smart touch, um, low, high, or fan only option, wide angle oscillation, and tip over protection. So whenever it tips over, it will shut off. Comes with the user manual. It's very small. It's very tiny. So this is what it looks like. It has three button options on the top. Okay. It's cute. It's small. So it is small enough to take it to an office or anything like that if you don't have room for a big heater because I have another heater and it's it's probably at least like twice the size of this one. So I do like how compact it is. So yeah, let's let's give it a go. There's the on and off switch on the back. It's got a little handle right here. Okay, so it's plugged up. Let's do... Oh wait, I have to flip the switch. What's going on? Am I doing something wrong? What's happening? Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, wow, that was quick. It's already warm. So it lights up down there. Wow, that thing is hot. Let's see, mode. Okay, that just went to low, I guess, because it's still hot. Oh. And it turned blue down there for the fan only mode, I guess. Yep, it's fan only. So, you can use this as a fan or a heater. Now, let's do the swing. That's pretty nice. I like how these aren't real buttons. You just kind of tap it. And you can see it changing. And here's my hand up next to it so you can kind of see how small this thing is. It would fit perfectly underneath your desk at work if you get cold or hot and you want to have something small. I like it pretty good. Now the only thing that I have realized is whenever this little 
switch thing right there whenever it gets tipped over or something you have to hit the on and off button and you have to kind of make sure it clicks down there before it'll before it will turn on again I think that's why it didn't turn on at first whenever I first tried it see that is hot now that will that thing's that little thing is putting out some heat so I turned it on the cool setting or just the fan only mode now I just hit the off button but it's still oh, okay there we go so it takes a couple seconds for it to shut everything off but it seems like a very good quality heater it's got a little handle it's so small I cannot get over how small it is but it's so like that thing puts out some heat so this is how big the heater itself is so small and then there's the three touchpad buttons up top so I want to say thank you to Next Gadget for sending me this product to review. I will have their Amazon link down below. That's where you can buy this product if you want to. These are my own opinions about this product. So everything that I tell you is how I truly feel. Some of the things that I love about this product are the fact that whenever you turn it on, this lights up down here so that you can tell if you have it on heat or the cool option or the low option. And I also really like how these aren't real buttons. They're just touch pad, so you don't even have to press them. You just touch your finger to it. I think this is a very good product for what you pay for it. It's so small and compact, but it puts out a ton of heat. Now that it's starting to get into winter time, it's getting a lot colder, and we don't want to be running our heater 24-7 because that can get expensive. So we love having little heaters and stuff like this around so that we can just have that on and it will heat up the room for us and it will be way less than running our heater so i highly recommend this product i will have the link down below if you guys want to go purchase one so thanks again to next gadget for sending me this product to review and i'll see you guys in my next video bye